Hello everyone, SWAT3050 here. This is my video response to the Urban Preppers giveaway for the J Boulevard Ultra Backpack. Now just a quick note to get out of the way before we go over everything. All the items will be listed in the description with links and I will also put an annotation on the screen so you can just click it and go check out the product. Don't worry, it will pause your video and uh, open it in another tab. Now, the challenge is to come up with five things that you would EDC that are TSA compliant and do not include your watch, keys, wallet, or phone. Here is a quick look at my watch, keys, wallet, and phone. Here we have my wallet, which is a tri-hole brand, my phone, which is an iPhone in a life-proof case, my watch, which is a cheap US Polo brand digital watch, and my keys, which are pretty basic. I do have a small SOG Micron on here, but this doesn't come with me to the airport. My first item is a pair of Costa Del Mar sunglasses. These are the Corbino models. I really enjoy the fit of these glasses, and for me, they are an essential EDC item. <clears throat> I live here in Florida, and the sun is always hot and always sunny, and you have to protect your eyes. These also have a large uh, role in my survival plan. When you have to bug out, most of the time the situation would require you to be outside for extended periods of time, so I always have these with me, even at night. They are also polarized, which allows you to see into water, which can help locate hazards and food in a survival situation. They also have a nice rubber interior which keeps dust and debris out um, even on a windy day. The second item I never leave the house without is my 4.7's Prion 2. Now this is an amazing 2 AAA flashlight. It's nice and small, fits in your pocket, it's about the size of a, util of a writing pen, and, uh, but it's packed with features. It's got a rear tail cap button, and when you turn it on it's in low mode which is great for um, EDC tasks just for searching for something or if you're trying to find something in the car but it also can be clicked onto a medium and even a high mode which this has a great throw probably 30 to 40 yards really helpful for trying to find something outside. 4.7's also has another great feature which is the beacon mode as you just saw it flash there every 10 seconds the light will flash this is great for search and rescue or even for marking something and per the manufacturer specs uh, it'll last about two days on this low beacon mode which is great if you need to leave it somewhere for somebody to find something later on. The third item I never leave home without is my chapstick. Again, this is somewhat a location-based item like my sunglasses because here in Florida nothing is worse than having burnt cracked lips. I use ChapFix, which is a new chapstick to the market. It has some nice properties that make it great for men. It has SPF 15 in it to help with the sunburn. Um, it's mint flavored, which is a great plus for me. Um, I really like mint chapstick, and uh, it also has this pretty unique texture. Um, I don't know if you can pick, see that on there, but uh, the way it's designed, when you put it on, it actually doesn't leave your lips shiny at all, and it's got a nice thick coating, so it stays on all day long, which is great. And, uh, of course, for survival situations, you can always roll it up and use some to start a fire. And the other great thing for guys is the shape. It's nice and slim. You could slide it right into your coin pocket in your jeans, and it stays flat in your, in your pocket, which is great. The fourth item I always have on me is a good amount of paracord. I usually have both of these with me every day. I have this box knot on my keys, which makes finding them and grabbing them easy, and I also have this band. Now, besides looking good, there's no other EDC purpose for these, but again, like the rest of my items, it's extremely useful in a survival situation. Just a few examples for its use in an environment include securing doors, emergency tourniquets, booby traps, or even restraints. Remember, not every survival situation is going to be natural disaster based. The fifth and final item I carry on my EDC is a micro SD card in the 16 gigabyte size. This is my life in a quarter inch. On here I keep copies of all my important documents, ID, passports, serial numbers, and pictures of all my valuables, family pictures. Um, this card is encrypted and only a few close people to me know the password. I chose to go with a micro SD instead of a USB because it does not get updated very often and I could slip it into my wallet and forget about it until I need it. All of my computers have a slot to read these and for the same and for some reason I need to access it somewhere else. I have always got an adapter for it in my car. But usually someone around has an Android phone as well, which you can plug it into and uh, access it. Well, this sums up my 5 EDC TSA compliant items for the Urban Preppers J. Boulevant Backpack Giveaway. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a comment down below.